Okay, so. Okay, so this fight we just started against the uh, Mutated Bound, which is legendary. We is Gimpy raging. Gimpy is raging. I'm sure this will be fine. Or should I do the reckless attack where he gets uh, advantage on his melee attacks, but he gets it. But the attacking him gets advantage too. Melee mm, weapon attack deals with strength during his turn, but attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Yeah, let's hold off on that. So, 38, or sorry, 18 points of damage and barely moved his health bar. So, we're looking at over 100 hit points, we my guess. Can be a little bit. And he should be resistance to the mental damage, right? Um, I don't know. A huge living plant. He shouldn't like fire, that's for sure. Oh, or he could be resistant to fire. <laughs> so, think outside the box. Not resistant to acid, at least. <laughs> uh oh, I'm grappled. I can't be good. <laughs> can't be, I can't be good at all. Additional pockets of fumes burst out of the jungle floor. Oh, this is going to go well then. Disadvantage because I am grappled. Break free. Six, six. And keep me fail. The jump. Whatever. So bright over there. Like if damage doesn't seem to be a problem. BC 14, so not bad. That's typical for Shadow Dagger, I believe. Nice move. Hobo needs more swings. Spiritual weapon. Hammer of Doom. That was a good hit. What? 
Where'd he go? I don't know. He engulfed me. He ate me. Just a puck. He just ate me. We'll come back. Well, I don't have much to say about that at the moment. Furball, well, more like a scale ball, but cannot take act. Take 2d6 plus 8 each turn. A single attack of 15 damage can force the Swallower to regurgitate. Somebody do 15 damage. Hey, Taco, welcome back. Right. Just, just in time That's to watch me get swallowed want. live. That thing. The only things that have a chance to do 15 in a single attack are fire. I'm a dragon. He's resistant to fire. So, looks like Gimpy's gonna die. Why is he looking at me like that? Because you're. Well, he can only eat one person at a time, I think. I think. Oops. That's not 15. No, that was not 15 at all. I don't think you can do 15 with those. No, you cannot. Not for a long time, still. Level 5, it's uh, 2d8. The so outside chance of doing 15. It's not a 15. No, that's definitely not a 15. I mean, you should survive the first round. Yes, Enema's Rage. <laughs> Enema's Rage. Uh. Uh. What did you just do? I ran into the stupid truck. Why'd you go so far back? Because I don't want to get close to that thing. I don't think you have to worry. He's more focused on Hobo at the moment, so. And luckily, Hobo is dodging fairly well. Because it's got a disadvantage. Why is his disadvantage from? He has an attack. Oh. He has an attack disadvantage for some reason. Strike, oh, Strike of Chaos is doing that. Zero psychic damage because he made a save. And I, I maybe rolled a one or so that even the powerful cantrip doesn't do damage. Yeah. That a demon? No, this is a shambling mound. It's a, it's a legendary shambling mutated mound. It's not a demon. And we're technically in hell, so if, if anything, it would be a devil, but it's not. Oh. You guys are getting really good at missing stuff. Of course, I'm getting really good about getting eaten by monsters. Ow. These additional pockets. Are, I'm guessing that's what Jeff ran into. What module no, is this? I think he's throwing poison or something around. Something, yeah, something. Anyway, Crossfade, welcome to the stream. This is the Devilish Deals uh, campaign. It's a great big mound. If you miss it, you really shouldn't be using a boat. Yes. Gimpy's gonna die. So Hobo can't do 15 hits with one attack unless he gets a crit. Even then, it's a maybe. You should be okay. 
Yeah, only if this thing dies, because if it doesn't, Gimpy's going to take enough damage probably to kill him. Because he takes 15 damage a turn. Sink, let, no, no, sorry, that's not it. 2d6 plus 8. So minimum 10 damage. Additional pockets of fumes, yeah, yeah. Buff a weapon? Well, not a lot of choices at level 4. And the damage has to one. one point. Because, you know. That's, that's not 15. No. It's not 15. Yeah. Hey, Gippy didn't die. Almost died, but didn't. Rocket agrees. Potent poison. New quest started. Started. So, potent poison. Discovered a particularly potent poison that will may prove useful later on. Lucky. Just a little bit. A little bit. And we got a light spell buff or uh, bug going on here. It's not supposed to be that bright. Thanks. Short rest? Short rest? Short rest, I think. Okay, so we're still looking for souls. Soul shards, sorry, soul shards. We went up. We went all the way to the south, or did we? Where hurricanes headed? Wow, this map is bigger than it looks, doesn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Barkley stuff here. You find a dagger and a pouch of gold. Oh, a dagger of acuteness. So that's What's that? plus one dagger. And a failed intel. Oh. A failed intelligence roll. Why? <laughs> Investigation check. I know, but what, what actually is that for? Uh, when you picked up the dagger and the gold. Oh, really? Okay. That looks totally safe to walk under. Ooh. Storm Heather.
fire. Fire. Oh, fire, fire. Oh, this looks more hellish. Oh, sir. Yeah, there might be a something. Oh, there is something actually back there. I'm going to wait right here. And yeah, there's this little uh, archway that we didn't go through. Magnificent. Oh, I got a campfire. Coming. Oh, I see a beetle. Looks like someone or something previously set up camp here. It is somewhat secluded, but the fire could draw attention. You cut, could cut down and rearrange some of these bushes in an attempt to disguise the camp. Good. Giant beetles. Beetle. Yep, I see the beetles. Or you could fail at the check. Hey. Survival. Success. Not exactly sure. Yeah, that means we're good? I don't know what that means. I think that means we're good. So we can rest here. No, let's fight. No. Are they we even hostile? No, they are hostile. I'm with Hobo. Resting first? No, no I'm with Hobo. Oh, Attack. Kill, kill them first. No, we gotta. We need to. We already hurt a little. Let's rest first. We'll rest first. I I I listen to the healer. No. Not the two friggin' genocidal I'm people. Gonna, I'm gonna shoot them. We're missing food. We're missing one unit of food. Uh, I guess we don't have much of a choice. Nope. Okay. So who wants to shoot him first? There. Never mind. Three of them. Jeff. I'm supposed to roll two, Jeffs. If you're gonna start the fight, you gotta roll better in the two. Crossbow doesn't like Jeff. No, it does not. Threes then? I'll take threes over twos any day. Acid spray. Ow. So we're looking fifty or plus, fifty to sixty. little sit down with Mickey and Rocket about their job performance. <laughs> Supposed to be sitting in front of the camera but for some reason they don't want to. So you can do a performance review with us? Wow. Yep. It's coming up. Well struck. I'd like to get it done before the holidays to motivate them. You 
can do better. You might actually be able to do a breath weapon this time around. Maybe. That was impressive. Was that a level one, I hope? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if you were to burn a level two on that, I would have been a little... Uh. <laughs> oh, look. All this healing just disappeared. Just dodge better. I'm trying to. It's just not working. I blame Rocket. Okay, so... I'm sure this will come up during your performance review as well. Oh, I'm sure it will. I think this is going to hit both of them. It's hard to tell. The light's so bright I can't see the, the outlay. Eh, it's, yeah, it's going to miss, isn't it? Yeah, let's see. A good kill, as they say. Okay, that worked. I couldn't really tell on the right hand side if that was gonna get hit. So the light bug is annoying. Three D six rolled three ones. Stay with us. Three ones. Uh. Hobo must be muted because he didn't hear him complaining. Expect it. Oh, you expected it? Okay. Three ones. That was impressive. Burning hands. I was at forty six. Because it made saving throws, right? Yeah, they made saving throws. I hate this game. Was it level one spell? Yeah. It's out of eight, so I think I think cure you know, cure wounds is only one d eight. Oh, but which one have you been working on? The right one or the left one? I've been working on the right one. Getting a little bit better. They didn't make their saving throws that time. 
Well, Mrs. Kimpy's home. You're still in the fight, my friend. Okay, Mrs. Kimpy's home, so Dark Cam goes off. Wow, they must really love her. They're so excited looking. Yep. Solasta Evo Bobby. They've only been gone for four 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 and a half, four, four half hours, something like that. You know, about three hours too long. You've seen worse. Why are they picking on me? Oh, because I have the lower armor class of the two, don't I? That's okay. I got damage resistance. I'm getting really good at rolling those fives on the heels. That is a one plus four. That's a one plus four? Uh-huh. So what is it? It's 1d8 plus four? I guess so. I'm rolling ones. <laughs> the last couple rolls are ones. You like that? A lot of ones today. It's like it's Sunday or something. See, what you need to do is to get rid of to get the ones out of the system you got to change the routine somehow to ensure you don't get those ones how do you change the routine i don't know like change what you do during the day change something well see the, i think instead we're... of getting up on the right side of the bed you go to the left side or i don't know but don't we have like uh i think the karmic dice. I think we have that turned on in this in the settings. I'll double check after this fight. See if because that I had a one. You had a one. Oh, cool. Yep. And one there to miss. So. Okay, well, you guys are looting. Let's see settings. Action timer, not a big deal there. Custom difficulty? Oh, we're on story. How do we get on story mode? It was supposed to be authentic. I know we put it set it to authentic. I think that shows it every time you look in the options when the game is already running. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, I guess we can't rest. No, we we need food. We don't. We're missing one food. Dice rolls. Karmic dice is turned on. Maybe here in the crashed boats. <laughs> Got a wounded mutter. A wounded one. Yep. Ooh, Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Good, good. Food and whatever, or just money? Yep. Got food? Cool. There we go. And That's four amazing. backpacks. I think I leave those here. Four backpacks? A remarkable crossbow. Bolt. Bolt. I'll take the bolt. There's a magnificent breastplate. The hexagonal ring. What the heck is that? That's a, uh, Looks reason. like a, a necrotic resistance. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. Did you check the other test? Mrs. Gimpy needs to talk to me. Be right back.
Okay, I think I have. I'm back. Okay. So we enough food and throw all this stuff, right? Yeah, should be enough okay. food to Jeff's by the campfire. Fish and chips with a nice vinegar and some salt and a dash of horrible mustard. <laughs> Very real possibility. Oh, cool. Okay, let's nice camp. Oh, no level up this time. Yes, yeah, a problem. Can't go wrong with fish and chips. We are close. Of course, we're close. So just rest for me. Oh, well, that's weird. I wonder why Rocky keeps walking by my chair. It's like usually he crawls into bed underneath my desk at this point when they keep, when Skippy's home. And I go on, what's going on here? And I look underneath the desk and Mickey's in his bed, in Rocket's bed. Mickey very rarely lays underneath the desk. There's a dude here. Yeah, I saw that with her going to camp. It's a mutter. An injured man limps towards you, huffing and puffing with labored breath. He looks to pose no threats, stretching out his open palms the moment he sees you. Don't trust him. It feels like a trap. If it does feel like a trap. Shall the gnome break it? I'll do it. Can I steal his soul? Um, I think we're going to do that anyway. Oh, you can't talk to him? No, we can't. For some reason, walk through him. Cough, cough. Just make it quick. Okay, I've seen through the lie. It is in inevitable. Let us heal you. Hand over everything valuable. What is a lie? If you insist, what is a lie? As you can see, I only have so many living breaths left in this hellscape. Why should I waste them on you? Let us heal you. Hand over your valuables. Heal them? Do you want to be nice? Or do you want to do the hellish route? I don't know. None of us are paladins. Guys are guys. Hand over your valuables. Sure, whatever. I'll... It's good for it to delay in my judgment by days at most. The man reaches into his pocket and throws a soul, soul fragment at your feet. See? Good thing. Now, leave me to die in peace. It will be but a brief moment of respite between living hell and the real thing. The man shuffles off into the brush, leaving a trail of blood-stained foliage in his wake. So. You're over encumbered. Yeah, I know. The soul, your soul is weighing you down. Probably. Or it could be uh, this magnificent breastplate I picked up. That leather I'm still carrying around. Ditch that. That helped. I think there's something over here. If that spell worked, all oh, there should there should be a soul fragment a few feet underground here. Oh, nice roll. I'm best suited for digging this up. It says What no, I'm a gnome. I what can't are we dig. waiting for? Let's dig it up. So why is my athletics at zero? Oh, so because that wasn't me. That was oh, the so other I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Make quick work on the soft, wet ground, finding a soul fragment exactly where it expected. 
And we leveled up. Hey. Too bad we have no we food. Have we don't have food. enough food. Uh, I found five. With the three, we should have eight. I've got oh. I've got one food ration. Jeff has three. Oh. Jeff has three. Oh, okay. Well, let's look around here first, and then we'll level up. Yeah, fr we are freshly rested, so use the uh, stuff. Yeah. Okay. This looks friendly. Very friendly. Bugs everywhere, sure. Wow. It's abandoned. Dead end. Ain't going for him. Big section in the middle we haven't really checked out yet. down the tree. Perhaps. Don't worry, I got this trap. Uh, why did you go that way? Because that's the way you went. Traps are hard. Hard to miss. Oh, we got uh, strikes. Four. Someone's on the wrong side of the river. Who's on the wrong side of the map? Oh. What's the term for multiple drakes? Uh, mini drakes. The drake. <laughs> a drake of drakes? Can you cross there, hobo? Or do you have to go <laughs> back all the way around? Oh, he's probably good there. He can shoot bows. Yep. Uh, uh, magic. Of course, you know, if they go after you, Hobo, you're going to be in trouble, right? Yeah. Okay. Because the right, healer... Oh, oh. The healer's on this side of the water. Just want to point that out. All right, you want me to come back? Okay. Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I couldn't find out about drakes, but a group of dragons is called a thunder or a flight. A flight of dragons, yes. I don't know about thunder, but flight for sure. I've never heard of a thunder. Flight sounds right. Yeah, flight of dragons sounds right. A drakes? Dragon babies? Hmm. No, drakes are just another name. It's a kind of a... A drake is a not, it's not really a dragon, but a small reptile that kind of resembles a dragon, sort of, kind of. It's more of an insult to a dragon than anything else. 
if I if I understand my mythologies correctly. Okay. A group of dragon babies is called a hatch, and the most common term for a group of dragons is thunder, a name that refers to the sound of many flapping dragon wings. Like flight pattern. Okay, I was here. Me too. Well, you guys took so long, my blur died. Oh. Well, by you guys, you mean hobo. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, hobo takes shot. Start this with surprise. That's a hint at the one point of damage. A lot of ones today. A lot of ones. Like there's another one right there. You forgot to do your daily sacrifice to the RNG gods, didn't you? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Although that was just a seven. Just missed. Very cautious. Didn't we fight Drakes before? Yes. So we should know what their hit points are. Unless it's a different type. No, it's Tiger Drakes, but this is only the second time we ran into him. Yeah, knowledge is at one, so yeah, that's appropriate. We don't. I think you don't get hit points until two. So after this one, if we run into him again, we should see hit points. Well, you can guesstimate. They're only like what, thirty or forty or something like that. Fifty, maybe. Success, so psychic damage and bludgeoning. Have Drake. Warbeast, welcome to the stream. How similar is this to Baldur's Gate? Um, the new one? The only real similarities to it are they're both 5e, Dungeons and Dragons tabletop 5e. Uh, they're turn based and they do turn based combat. They technically are both 3d engines although this engine is better than Baldur's Gate because <laughs> it's actually 3d the Baldur's Gate one is just a folk fake one um, and I say that because none of the abilities in Baldur's Gate actually really take advantage of the 3d stuff that they do here like flight for example in Baldur's Gate flight is just a movement thing to get you from point, point, point A to point B in this game it actually gives you advantages because you can actually control your elevation where you're flying and that kind of stuff. In Baldur's Gate, that's not possible. Battles are more tactical than this, I think. Well done. Damage isn't as big. There's not as much ridiculousness as far as, you know, making everything blow up and that kind of thing. I mean, yeah, it's cool and stuff. This story is not as detailed diverse. Um, no, the story here is pretty straightforward. But again, got to take into consideration how much money was thrown at the games. This is not considered a triple A title. This is a single A title, I would say. Um, not to be insulting. It's just the reality of the thing. They did not get millions and millions of dollars to throw at this game. They only got like two, maybe, and two million dollars at most to, play, to develop this game. And... Um, you know, Baldur's Gate got way more, so they got a lot more stuff, better voice actors, better art, uh, bigger story, you know, basically just a bigger game. 
The custom content is the big plus, uh, which Baldur's Gate and Pathfinder still don't have. They don't have their own way to make their custom, their creator, or sorry, was it the dungeon maker? There's a dungeon maker built into Celasta. So, and that's what this is, what we're doing here, is this was made by not the developers. This was made by a, we'll just call fan of the game. And neither one, neither Baldur's Gate or the Pathfinder games have this feature. So, you know, you're basically stuck playing what the devs want you to play. Here, there's an actual, uh, you know, uh, player run community to build this stuff. Custom content? Well, this is this cut. This is the custom content. Oh, I can actually hit this one. Jump up on the tree and smack the Drake. You'll die anyway. So how this how many how they're similar is it to Baldur's Gate? Um, again, not as many races and classes in this one. But this is different in the fact that uh, this is a custom uh, universe of Celasta. And at least Baldur's Gate, it's Forgotten Realms, and people are familiar with that kind of stuff. And it's also, of course, slightly connected to Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. While this game is not connected to any other game other than the tabletop itself. I'm not play it. Finishing up your Baldur's Gate run, so I might give it a try. Give it a try. Again, it's... The story isn't as good. It's not as big, um, but it's not bad either. It's very, it's very traditional, as in there's no real branching storyline and that kind of stuff. But there's sub, you know, side quests and stuff like that. But again, it's just not as big. Figure the 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 base campaign for Crown of the Magister is going to run you about somewhere between thirty and forty hours, depending on what you do. So can. Put, put that in comparison for the you know the hours in Baldur's Gate that you have, Let's which is again. probably well over a hundred. Um, you know, so you got to compare that to. Big time hours of cost is pretty high. Yeah, <laughs> but again, you know the the base game, big first campaign is forty hours or so. Um, the first DLC with another campaign ran us about thirty hours, I think. We did multiplayer. Um, and then the, the newest DLC with the Palace of Ice, that was about 30 hours plus two, somewhere around there. So that's your paid content. And then of course you have all these, you know, player made stuff that can run 15 to 40 hours if you're doing multiplayer, because multiplayer does slow things down, but, uh, it's not a bad thing. I mean, most of the criticisms I've heard of Celasta are related to the artwork. <laughs> and again, it's, you know, they've they learned the developers have learned how to do stuff better over time, but. They just, you know, they don't have the money to throw at it that, um, to put the, to, you know, because it takes time to develop artwork in these games. And they just didn't have the money to, you know, pay people to do it. I don't think it's bad. I just realized that it's not AAA. And I, I honestly don't care. <laughs> I mean, I think it looks fine. I, I mean, that's not really, I'm not really playing these games for the look. I'm, look, I'm playing this for the gameplay. And, of the of the games that I'm that I've the most experience with right now, it's you know the Pathfinder games, this one and Baldur's Gate three that are you know the closest in are what they are. This one is still I think the best the game engine. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad. I don't either. I think it's fine. Like I said, I'm not a you know graphics person first. I'm a gameplay person yeah. first. I can play game. I can if a game's got good gameplay. I honestly don't care really what it works like as long as it's fun and it does what it's supposed to be doing. Well, an ugly game, or sorry, a, a poorly designed game that's beautiful. 
I don't want to. I don't care. I don't want to play that because if it's not fun, why would you want to play it? A bit repetitive. I like a storyline and love crown, but find the other modules so so. Still playing though. The player made stuff. Meerkat. Yeah, well, that's because you're dealing with people that aren't professional game designers, in all honesty. You know, unless they're copying somebody else's work, you know, they have to come up with it on their own storylines and that kind of stuff. So it's going to seem repetitive because they're more than likely they're not professionals. You know, this is a hobby. So they probably don't have a ton of experience doing this kind of stuff. They might doing tabletop stuff, but even then that doesn't mean anything. Just because you've been doing tabletop for 30 years doesn't mean you're good at it. <laughs> are good at designing dungeons and storylines and that kind of stuff. It's not as easy as a lot of as people would like to think it is. It actually takes quite a bit of work to do this stuff correctly and do it well. Now this storyline seems okay so far. I mean we're not that far into it. You know, coming up on what five hours or so. Um or completing five hours. And the basic concept is you're in hell and you have to collect soul soul shards in order to, you know, not get punished. And that's been the story so far. And it hasn't really broken away from that other than changing the way that you get uh, your soul shards, which is either through fights or finding them in different spots and that kind of stuff. Now there was a cave that one finding a, a friend with caravan, John. One finding a friend with caravan. You're in a garden. Oh, the hell thing? Is that what is that what you on this one? Well, what you got to remember for the dungeon maker stuff is the people making the dungeons are limited to what um, assets are already are that are actually available because you can't make your own. As far as the dungeon maker is concerned, the only assets as far as making stuff is what's already in the game. And there's no hellscape or anything like that in the base game, so you're not going to see it here. Look at all the arrows and stuff and axes laying on the ground that I need. Iron Brimstone, yeah, that's your point, repetitive. Well, there are, there actually are a number of environments that people could use, but for whatever reason, like there is fire environments in, in the regular campaign or fire-like stuff, which for whatever reason, the, the person that made this didn't choose to use that unless they weren't available. But I, I thought everything that you see in crown of the magister you could see in the dungeon maker too i could be wrong because i haven't really tried but there are there are fire-like environments in that campaign in the main campaign so if they're available and it just so happens the person who did this just chose not to use it for whatever reason and yeah, that's maybe he wanted to do a, a swamp themed one i guess yeah i mean that's that's entirely up to you know the dungeon maker it's not just the way he chose to do it. Maybe his concept of hell isn't fire and brimstone. Maybe it is a swamp. Hey, maybe, bag of water. It is time to take a break. Maybe he's stuck Don't in Florida and he's making social commentary about his life in, in, one hour. in Florida. But it's a dry heat. In Florida, it ain't a dry heat. It's a very wet heat. If it was a desert, you know, that'd be a different story. I was thinking Arizona. Uh, yeah, Arizona is the, the is the dry heat stuff. Which, of course, is, you know, hell, too. Or variation of hell. But I don't... Do they have... They kind of have desert-type stuff in this. Should be a Disney California Adventure Hell. Disney California Adventure Hell. I don't think Disney California has an adventure... Disney California Adventure has a hell in it. I've never been there, so I don't know. I have never been to that that uh, 
amusement park. Been to Disneyland a, a number of times, but never to your California Adventure. Anyway, do need to take a break. Okay. And then we can discuss this stuff when we get back. So, anyway, gonna get up, stretch some legs, talk to Mrs. Gimpy right real quick, see what dinner is about, and uh, be back in a few minutes. Once again, thank you, Jeff Hope and Hurricane, for joining me, and of course, thank you, everybody, for coming out and watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video. <laughs>